Shalom. Welcome back to Thoughts on the Parsha. Please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Also, share this beautiful message with your friends and family and visit our website, bnacademy.org. So when is it advisable to give advice? When is it okay to share your two cents? Well, if you look in book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 33, Joseph was pulled out of the dungeon and he's standing there before Pharaoh, interprets Pharaoh's two dreams, and then he proceeds in what seems like giving unsolicited advice. Now, instead of Pharaoh getting upset with that and saying, hey, listen, mister, why are you mixing in to my business? Or who asked you? That's not your task at hand. You were called here to interpret the dreams. Do just that. And that's it. No, Pharaoh doesn't get upset. In fact, Pharaoh reacts by saying, wow, what a wise man. What a genius. And in fact, you're the man. You're hired. I'm going to appoint you in charge of exactly what you advise to do. Wow. Why is this okay? Why did this make sense? Well, the answer is, when you look at the actual dreams, notice something interesting. When, for example, the cows, the healthy cows versus the sickly cows, God made it so that in the dream, they appeared side by side. They appear together. And the same is with the wheat, the good wheat and the bad wheat. That told Joseph that a part of the dream, meaning a crucial part of his interpretation, and no, it's not just his advice. It not, it's not just his unsolicited suggestions. Rather, this is part of the interpretation. This is the message that God is giving. Not just merely that there's going to be seven good years and seven bad years, but that we need to bring him together just like in the dream. And just like in the dream, they were both there together. How do we bring it together? That is by making sure that during the good seven years, I'm saying the seven good years, that we accumulate enough food. Thus, the seven bad years will have been now joined together with the seven good years because they'll be now influenced and benefited by the seven good years. So this is a, a lesson for us. When not called for, don't just throw out advice. Don't stick your nose in other people's business. But when it's obvious and clear, of course, when we have a divine sign that you should or you must give the advice because that's part of the situation, then, of course, don't hold it back. Be sure to interpret things as they are.